it's Jeff with JW Designs. Thanks for checking out the channel. Today's project is a coffee table build taking advantage of some things I had laying around. The top you can see is a rough sawn piece I joined a while back. I purchased an industrial cart at an antique shop in a neighboring town and remembered I had this top behind some plywood in my shop. So I checked dimensions and found it would work for the coffee table with a few adjustments. This top is pretty heavy, so I'm having fun moving it around. With a few manly grunts, I'm able to move it in place. <laughs> a friend of mine by the name of Keith Guerin was able to sandblast the industrial cart for me. He did a great job, as you'll see a little later in this video. I'm not sure the history of the cart, but it did have a lot of paint on it and sandblasting did the trick for sure. What you see here is taking some time to measure where the legs should go. I measured a, a center line on the top. From there, I measured a reasonable distance for the lines where the legs would attach. After that, I measured in from the sides and had a pretty good idea where the flanges needed to go. A big shout out to Wabash Hardware and Rental for carrying the things needed to do the job. Thanks guys. Once I made the marks for these measurements, I was able to attach the flanges with some one and a quarter Torx head screws. If you're putting the screw into hardwood, you want to be sure and drill a pilot hole so you don't break the screw. I did have a couple moments where I was dealing with that, but was able to adjust it. I highly recommend storing hardware in these Harbor Freight storage containers. Now, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not getting anything for this tip, but as you can see, they're easy to move around. They have individual containers you can place the hardware in so you can put it close to you while you're working. I've seen several other woodworkers do this and appreciated the tip. What's even better is they're very reasonable and hold up really well. In the comments section below, let me know how you best store the hardware you use for your builds. I'm using this coffee table in an area of our garage we call the loft. It's where I have my office, and as we've been progressing through improving this building, it's been fun to put these projects together to help build a creative space. Feel free to check out the shop tour and desk build videos that I'll have linked right here, and they showcase this space. We wanted an industrial theme, so you'll see a combination of metal and wood through the space. My wife and family have been tremendously helpful throughout these projects, so a big thanks to them. My mom and dad have also been helpful to stand behind this, and mom, thanks. I'm using black pipe I picked up at the hardware store I mentioned. The pipes are eight inches long and screwed into flanges that are attached to both the cart and the top. The end product is very sturdy and very heavy. I built it this height so any, any person sitting at the couch could feel free to prop up their feet and take a load off. As I was attaching the legs, at least the leg you can see closest to you here on the right, it became evident the top was twisted and one of the pipes were a little bent. I made sure I hadn't cross-threaded the pipe with a pipe wrench and once I was sure of that, I went ahead with the build and fixed the problem with the top a little later. If you stay through till the end, you'll be able to check out a simple fix. My wife and I carried the top upstairs and put it on the cart. Here in just a bit, you're gonna see us place this on top of that cart. And it turned out really nice with the sandblasting. Here's what it looked like before the sandblasting. I wasn't real picky on making sure the top was exactly the same all the way around. I got a rough idea with measurements, sided it down the sides and ends to make sure it was straight and called it good. You know what Jimmy DeResta says, if it looks straight, 
it is straight. Once I realized the warping was present with the top, I went downstairs and figured out a fix. You can see that it's rocking back and forth as I'm working with it here. And the solution that I came up with, simple and effective. So I take everything apart and come up with a solution. I had some half inch plywood laying around, so grabbed a piece of that. Once I placed it on the saw, I cut it down to a piece the flange would fit on and headed back upstairs. Once I got there, I attached it to the bottom side of the top with more one and a quarter inch screws and we were good to go. This was a small project with big impact. Maybe you have a few things laying around the house. You can adapt and meet a need. It's fun to figure out a solution. And we're here to help you create. So hopefully this video has helped you to do exactly that. Thanks for watching. And I hope your day is great. Peace. Thank you.